Major headline just days before Georgia's two Senate runoff elections. Control of the Senate at stake. Republican Senator David Perdue going into quarantine after being exposed to COVID-19. Nearly three million people already voting early in person or by mail. Here's ABC's Alex Brashey. Tonight, Georgia Republican Senator David Perdue sidelined ahead of that crucial runoff that will determine control of the U.S. Senate after coming into close contact with someone on his campaign who tested positive for COVID-19. His team saying Perdue and his wife are quarantining, and both the senator and his wife tested negative today. Hey, how are Perdue on the trail just yesterday. What I'm here doing is trying to fight for the people of Georgia. The 71-year-old senator is facing a tough challenge from Democratic candidate John Ossoff. The whole country is watching Georgia voters to see what we will do at this historic moment. Already, nearly 3 million Georgians have voted early, some reporting wait times up to four hours. The other Republican senator trying to keep her seat, Senator Kelly Leffler, leaving the door open to joining a large number of House Republicans and Missouri Senator Josh Hawley's efforts to challenge the Electoral College results, which Congress is set to certify next week. Look, everything's on the table right now. And Tom, Purdue was set to join Leffler at a rally on Monday, the day before Election Day, headlined by President Trump. And now that's in jeopardy. Tom? Alex Prochet covering everything out of Georgia for us tonight. Alex, thank you for that. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.